Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a brand new Dell G317 gaming laptop and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how to remove the... This is really really easy to do, you can do this at home, it doesn't require many tools and I will leave a link for the new battery on the video description if I can find one so you can replace it. Also I will leave the link for all the tools that I will be using in this video. All right, first thing first, you want to power off the laptop completely and you want to flip it upside down and you're going to realize that there's a whole bunch of screws on the bottom cover. You're going to remove all the screws except two screws and I'll explain why. All the screws, they have the same size and height so you don't have to worry about mismatching them except these two screws at the back mid. They do have a little C-lock on them. That means the screws will not come out entirely of the C lock. So you just have to twist them until you hit a click and you want to leave it there. So let's get it started. For the screwdriver, I'm going to be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. These are S2 class steel bit and they will last you many years. You can get the pro version, they will include you on opening tools and tweezers, but if you don't want to get the pro version, just get the simple set. And for the opening tool, we can use the Guitar pick. Uh, metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening covers, cases, anything like that. And they are really hard to scratch cases with this. So we're going to start from one corner and we're going to remove all the screws except these ones at the back mid. Also, if you guys like my content, if my content helping you guys out to upgrade, service and repair your, your laptops, you can just click that like and subscribe to my channel. It will be a great help and motivation for me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions. I'll greatly appreciate it. All right, now we get down to these two screws. So we're just gonna loose them up and you should hear a few clicks. So once you hear those clicks, you wanna let go. Same thing here. All right. So a couple of clicks and let go. You want to grab your opening tool. You want to open up the laptop a little bit. You want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. I'm pressing right where the first screw on the left side is. Doesn't matter where you start from. And gently, we're going to pull up a little bit. And once you hit a tiny click, let go. Go a little, another one centimeter to the next place. And keep doing it every one or two centimeters. Just work yourself around and you should hear the bottom cover coming. Work yourself toward the side, toward the back corner, on the left and on the right side. So I'm just gonna do the left and right side here. You don't need to do the back end because they, they see lock screws, they did the job for you. So once you loop the front and the sides, the bottom cover should work around, it should come out pretty easy. And the seal lock that I was talking about is right over here. You can see there's a little tiny C lock on the neck of the screws. All right, let's put that to one side. And down here, the battery is really visible right in front of you. To remove the battery, there's one, two, three, four, five screws holding it down. So we're gonna remove the screws first. The screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them neither. Once you remove all the screws, you're going to pick up the, this one here and move it forward a little bit so you can see this connector right here. Because we're going to replace the battery, you can just pull it out gently, evenly, pull the, pull the jack out, and you get it loose. This battery is for the laptop to power on the laptop. There's a secondary battery, which is this one here, is a CR2032. This is for the BIOS battery. So if your BIOS doesn't hold any more charge and... You want to change your BIOS battery, so replace this one. To replace this one, just put the screw on this side and pull it out, and it just comes out really easy. But we're not going to replace this one. This battery has a 56 watt hour battery, 15.2 volt, and the model for this one should be somewhere over here, which is right here. It's a 33YDH model. And I'll try to find the, is a 3,500 milliamp battery, 15.2 volt model. Again, it's a 33YDH. I'll try to get the link for these ones and I'll leave them in the video description so you guys can 
and check it out. Sometimes you can remove this one, but this one doesn't come out, so leave it right there. Right, so if yours actually comes out, so if you want people like a, you can pull it hard on this one, gently, evenly, and it will get released. So some batteries only provide you this, but I have the providers that we buy usually they give you the cable. So if it doesn't give you the cable, just pull the cable out and plug it back in, it's straight in, all the way in. And before you put the screws on it, bring it in an offset position just like this. Make sure the battery connector goes in evenly inside the jack, all the way inward directly and push it towards the jack. And then you want to bring it over and align the screw holes. And you can tape this down or just leave it there. There's no big deal. And put there five screws to hold the battery in place. Also, it's very important how you're going to use the first charge for the battery. It's very, very important. Once you put a new battery in, you do not want to power on the laptop at all. You want to leave it in an off position, like make sure it's off. And you want to connect the charger and you want to leave it there for at least six hours for it to charge after six hours then you can turn it on or keep charging or whatever you want to do with it but first you have to leave it there for charging for six hours all right to put the bottom cover make sure you put this port side down the hdmi connector everything is right here so you want to scoop it in in 45 degree angle just work it around and scoop it right in there hold it down let go of the other end Come back here and just pinch the front end halfway through the back corner here and push down nicely firmly on this side. Now you can work yourself on the front, just pinch them down. Do not push down on the back side. First you want to screw it down so the screw pulls the cover to itself. Do on both of them. Once you did that, then gently between the screws you can push them down so you hear those clicks. Now, you can open up the laptop and you should see if you didn't push up nicely this gap right here. All you need to do is to pinch them together and the cover will go together. Once you finish with all those, and the last thing down here would be to just grab the bottom screws and slam it right on the bottom cover. And that should be all. And for those people who keep asking me why don't I turn on the laptop after replacing parts, because they have a trust issue. For those people, I'm just going to power on once I put the screws on so you guys can see that it turns on and it's working. So let's finish up with this one quickly. If you guys like this video and helped you guys out, click the like and subscribe. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. So let's go ahead and power it on. I see the backlight coming, so within a few seconds, we should see a logo coming up too. And that's it. I hope you guys like this video, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.